We're back. Bare bonesing at Norman Woodstock Spalding, radio broadcaster. Once you get the job, you never forget it. In fact, the reminiscing of the job is the job, and you are the job, and that's it. Well, maybe some people it doesn't affect that way. It, it did me. Mainly because I was doing it long before I did it. I've always been a radio broadcaster and didn't know it. Yeah, I certainly was never advised and struggled to find advice and it ended up something I, I'm glad I have the background of it. I'll tell you that. It really sets me up to understand many, many, many things where I've been, only it's not what I do. So I'm kind of trained like the ugly duckling, quite frankly. Only I find there's an instinct with me that is more likely superior to all the training I could ever get. So I ride by the seat of the pants of that. I do not shoot from the hip. I find most everything here shot from the hip. I detest that. And when I do shoot from the hip, it's with more rehearsal than anyone shooting from the hip understands. I shoot from the hip relying on my wits from genetics and living in generation and the experience of that. I rely on the time my bloodline has been living and passed on, stacked up in me from breeding. I overhear remarks I don't understand and call them out. Some of them are so priceless, I know I could never live up to them. And I say them anyway, exposing my own hypocrisy. Rather than not overhear that, I shall have to let it out. And everyone living is that. You have remarked to a better living than you ever did, stuck in you, that you are fighting out. And you're acting like a muzzle on those remarks that preceded your experience, each one of you, that you were overhearing in your mind. Yes, you are. And everyone playing dumb to those remarks right now. Yes, you are. And someday those lights will come on and those remarks will be extremely vivid to you. And I don't know what in the Sam hell you're going to do when you've been ignoring them all this time. Each one of us are not going to like that. I know how each one of you came, and I know why, and I see how you come, each one of you. You're delighted, happy. Now, something discouraged that here, and it's staying here after you leave. It's your responsibility to affect what discouraged you in a very encouraging way. That's what your life is about affecting everything here in an encouraging way. Now, the word courage comes out. Really, it's called, it's called gumption. And courage is a coward compared to gumption, isn't it? Don't like to use the word courage when the word gumption is standing right next to it. That means humans are afraid of gumption. No, no. Never mind courage. So it, it, it's how human gumption is inspired. Because it's far more candid than courage. When courage has to rehearse so much that it leaves most of its engagement out, it ain't worth a damn. Courage has failed this planet. This planet is an agony without topsoil and floodplain and an accurate conversation because of courage. That didn't work. You gotta back up the gumption. Itch, itch. Damn fungus. And every time it itches me, I'm gonna curse it. Damn fungus. No courage. No gumption. Inferior product. What the Sam Hell Lord is it doing here? Why is there fungus with this planet? Why? That ought to be a doozy of an answer. And it will never hold any water at all. There's absolutely one reason not. There's no reason for fungus here. 
None. You got reason, human. Fungus does not have reason. Here. You do. Keep that well in mind. You have wit. Fungus has none. Oh, I, I, you know, someday I swear off with fungus. I swear off with every aspect of this place. I swear off with every aspect of this place. I swear off with every aspect of what did it. Want a bet? I square off with your maker. Want a bet? And built to do it, our matey. You think the mascot can square off with the captain of a ship? Hell no. I like the dirty bastard. <laughs> well, I'm squaring off with it. <laughs> and I made it because I like it. I didn't like my maker, I wouldn't be saying a word. I dare it. Something I like, don't get away with this. Do you understand me? There's evidence to like the Lord here. What Sam Hale's going on? I don't find anybody making remarks that they like the Lord. They're all lying about the Lord. They'll love the Lord. They don't like the Lord. That's for damn sure. Not hurting each other. Who to claim me? You like the Lord. Now you can't hurt another human then. The Lord likes humans a lot. Considers them adorable. If you don't like the Lord, when you turn around and hurt a human being, I don't care if you're imprisoning them, cause them any inconvenience, whatever the hell you're doing, screwing around with a human's welfare and, and, and convenience here, you don't like your maker, that is for sure. Cause your maker holds that individual very adorable. Dummy. Now you, you, you go after a human being, you go after its maker. What a bet. Anytime, whoever does it for any reason. You've got goose egg reason for it. None. You square up with the Lord, I'll tell you, that'll be emphatically rammed where the sun don't shine, and I'm going to be right there pushing. Exciting, ain't it? Like me? I like you.